What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we have a special product featured by Supery. A switchback lens for you guys with the 11 through 16 trucks. I know I have gotten some mods on the Luma Duties, and people have been asking me, hey PTT, don't you have some mods for the 11 through 16s? Well, I reached out to a company, they sent me some lights, and we're gonna install them, and I'm gonna show you how to access this and switch up your lenses so you can have a different look to your truck. All right guys, let's see this. All right guys, so we're gonna start by going to the passenger side mirror. You guys can pick the left or the right. And I'm gonna leave the lights on uh, just so we can see it immediately turn on when we make the electrical connection. So what I want you guys to start off doing is go over to your driver's side mirror switch and I want you guys to turn the mirror all the way in. And you're gonna look for this silver tab that is right in there. I want you guys to push. Let's look at the new light. So here we have this tab here. I want you guys to push this tab and wiggle the light out. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand and see if we can do this together. Okay, there's my, my clip. Let me get just a flat blade screwdriver. I just use the screwdriver to work the clip. See if I can use that to pop it out as well. Okay, I am gonna need two hands, um, but you guys can see what I'm doing with this here. I'm pushing the clip towards the inside of the mirror, and I'm gonna, gonna work this out. All right, I'll get this clip. Once you get it all the way, the light is gonna work itself right out, okay? So you guys can see the connector we have here. We got one little light here, and we have a running light that is burned out. So I don't know which one we have right here. Let's match this up. Do we have the right side? Looks like we do. So, we are going to note that, that the one is blinking, and that says LED direction indicator lamp. So I'm gonna pull this bulb out, and I'm gonna plug this yellow little spade connector into, oh wow, check that out, you guys. That is really cool, okay? I have the headlights on as well. So let's plug the other one into this socket. Okay, so we're just gonna loosely mock this up so we can just get the, the gist of it here. Maybe work these little connectors down and out of the way. Okay. To today. Oh, I think I got the wrong side. All right, redo. Oh, there we go. Well, that. Okay, so I was I was going to show you guys. I was going to turn the turn signal on and off, but I just realized that I could just unplug that. So when you're normally running and your your parking lights are on, and like, oh, I want to make a left hand turn. I want to make a right hand turn then the turn signal comes on. Running light, turn signal. That's pretty sweet. Let's get the, the right lens in so you guys can actually see it in the house because having the left one on the right isn't gonna allow it to see. I've never seen these on a, on a truck up close in person, so I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, there's our turn signal. Here's our running light. Okay, so let's see how this fits in here now. I 
feel like these connectors are just a smidge too big. But I think if we get it worked in there, bingo, just like that. Check that out, you guys. Let me go shut that turn signal out. Pretty sweet, you guys. Cheap, easy modification to your 1116. I'm gonna put a link in the description to reach out to the Northern Brighter Light Company, Super E, and check this part number to see if you wanna get these for your 11216 Super Duty and have a different than OE look with your mirrors. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. If anybody's added these to their Super Duty, uh, did you use this brand? Did you have some other brand? Let me know in the comment section because I think these are actually pretty cool uh, with the uh, moving LEDs. Thanks so much for watching. And remember to like, comment, sub, share. And I'll catch you guys all next time.